So I work with students in kindergarten through fourth grade and I work um, with them and their teachers in the innovation lab here at Brecknock. So when I first heard that we were going to be able to use a vertical farming unit, my mind was racing with all of the possibilities, all of the things that kids would develop such a sense of wonder about. When I first heard about it, I, I was like, I was wondering like, how are we supposed to do that if we're not using any soil at all? Like, this is awesome. I did not think it was going to be this way. When I got the email from Mrs. Sebastian, I thought like, oh, we're growing stuff in soil. But when I saw it and Mrs. Sebastian talked to us that it was a hydroponic, I was like, that's really cool. When I first saw it, I thought, why are there so many holes in the flex farm? And how are the roots supposed to get the water and everything? and how is this supposed to work without soil? So when we got to thinking about how these plants would get everything they needed from the water, it really provided an authentic environment to talk about water parameters. I think it was definitely kind of hard because we had to uh, make sure everything, like the pH was good and the TDS readings were good. Sometimes with the pH, it'll go higher and it'll go lower and sometimes you don't really know why, and sometimes you're gonna have to add less nutrients than you're actually supposed to, or more than you're supposed to. If we spike it, it would be, it would hurt the plants. So once we got that to level, it was really exciting. I think the most exciting part of this grow cycle was leaving this flex farm on a Friday afternoon and coming back in on a Monday morning and seeing the change in the growth of those lettuce plants. We just couldn't believe how much they had grown in a short amount of time. It was unbelievable. What surprised me was probably um, uh, how it grew like so fast. It was kind of crazy. Favorite part was definitely watching the plants grow. 100%, no doubt. So the greatest part about this was this was such an authentic project-based learning experience for the kids. For them to be able to grow produce and to brainstorm what we could do with that produce to make a difference in our world was really powerful. We chose um, to donate this lettuce to a local food bank and the kids were involved in every step of this. They even researched which food bank would be the most local to our school. Uh, I look forward to would be giving it away because this whole project was about helping people who can get those fresh vegetables that your body needs. You just know this is gonna go to people who don't have food. I would definitely love to keep using it in the classroom because I would love for other people to see like, hey, you don't need soil to grow plants all the time. Carson said like, which one would you rather do? Have 20 minutes with your friends to play or feed people who don't have food, and I think it was a definite um, feed people who don't have food, so that was just really cool.